Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Top Sport Hall Rotterdam uh, with the final day of the European Championship wheelchair basketball for women. Uh, today we start off with the sixth and seventh place match, which will be held against uh, between Turkey and. France. My name is Len van Dort and later Dylan Cummings will be joining me once more having difficulty to get at the sports hall. Uh, today proves to be, uh, well, this game doesn't look that like it's very exciting but we can always see what the Turkish women have in stock for the final game. France obviously uh, just missing out on uh, a Paralympic ticket for next year in Tokyo. Uh, having everything to lose. Uh, and obviously trying to retain as much, well, show as much basketball skills they can do. Right now we've got the pictures on screen uh, showing uh, the Netherlands winning uh, all their five games in the uh, first rounds. Uh, Germany four wins, Great Britain three wins, Spain two wins and France just one win. Uh, we've got the following matches coming up today. Uh, at 10 o'clock we'll start with France against Turkey. At 12.30 we, start with, uh, we have Germany against Spain in the third to fourth place match and the finals will be held at three o'clock the Netherlands versus Great Britain. Uh, previous game statistics are shown on the screen as well. A big loss for France against Great Britain uh, and Germany. Uh, they won against Turkey in the previous game with 51 against 31, a 20 point difference. Uh, a loss against Spain and another loss against the Netherlands. Uh, Turkey having lost all their games with quite large figures. Uh, only France remaining within 20 points. Currently the Turkish women are being introduced. Referees two will be from Spain, one will be our own Doris out of the Netherlands. <coughs> now, now introducing the French team. Starting with the national anthem of Turkey.
and now the national anthem of France. National Anthem of France. Alright, within about three minutes the game will start. It's Turkey heading up against France. Uh, on France's side we have number four Awad, number five Fall, number eight Lovu, number eleven Ita, number seven Guidon, number six Mambolia, number ten Rublet. 12 Turmel, number 9 Clary, the number 13 Picou, the number 14 Busseau, and the number 15 Bichon. Uh, the main women to watch in this game obviously being uh, Mbolia number 6 and the number 14 Busseau. Turkish side we can see Number four, uh, seven, my bad, uh, Erkan. Number five, Sahin. Number 13, Akurek. Number 12, Guxen. Number six, Kinali. Number 14, Unal. Number 10, Emüce. Number nine, Sakir. Number four, Gur. Number 15, Atai. Number 11, Kam. And number eight, Tan. Uh, my apologies for the pronunciation. Uh, this won't get any better. We'll be back with you at tip-off.
France team lining up for the tip-off. Just approaching the court. Just entered the sports hall with me is Dylan Cummings from Scotland. Hello, Len. How are you doing today? I'm great. I'm great. How are you? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good, thanks. Looking forward to today. Yeah. Long day for us. Yeah, looking forward to this final day of action. It's going to be a long day, but should be some close games of basketball, which we're looking forward to. So. I can imagine. All right. Turkish team approaching court as well. as energetic as ever. It's a loud start from Turkey, especially with the fans chanting. Kim Lee Ball. Oof. The foul call from Turkey, number 14, Onu. Unal, my bad. Yeah, offensive power by Turkey. Players to watch out for in this game for Turkey is definitely number seven, Mine Arkan. As with for France, it's number six, Grace Wimbula. Pumi fall ball, pass inside, Boussou. That's the first score of today for France. Yeah, nice simple basketball there displayed by France. Just a simple pass inside and the easy score. Long pass by Turkish number seven at the number 14. No, there's a backcourt violation called which means that it's France's possession. So, foul, pass at Vambolia. There'll be shot from fall, which doesn't fall. And our own rebound, a foul called on Turkey number seven, Erkan. Getting helped up. By the staff. And it's France possession with 14 seconds on the shot clock. Fall. Ebola. So bounce pass which falls in Turkish hands. Air come. Nice pick there. Long pass at the number nine. Shakia. That'll be a shot attempt. A three point shot attempt with a foul. Which will be given to. Grace Mbola, number six of front, which is our first personal foul. Arkan would like to shoot two. Three times even. Three, three, three yeah. point attempt. First one misses, bounces off the rim. Second one not good either. Third time's a charm. Charm. Whatever. 
Ah, unfortunately not making it either. The rebound for Fall, number five, France. And Bola on the other side. No, Fall, her own shot. Misses. Bit confusing why she didn't pass to Mbolo on the offense. It worked. It didn't work out in the end, but it was a nice attempt. France retains possession. Yeah, nice steal from Busso. At first, we have to upright Turkey number 14. After two minutes and 16 seconds of play, it's still two against zero in favor for France. And Bola from distance, will she do it? Yes, she will. Nice shot there from Wembola, nothing but net. France now with a four point lead over Turkey in this first game of day seven. Final day of action. Uh, it was a nice drive from Mina uh, Erkan, but unfortunately not getting in. Mbola, nice pass to Francis, number. Well. Scoreboard is not updating yet. We'll get the nine. Nice pass at number seven. Well done. That's the first score for Turkey. Erkan. Yeah, nice two-man game between Kahir and Erkan to get that shot off. Previous score for France being from Awad. Just being updated. Fall, pass to Wembolia. Nice shot from distance. There's nothing called there. But saw her lifting up from the chair. Got to her own attempt though. It's not a backcourt violation called. Of course, it's not allowed when you have crossed the middle line to come back over it, which means that France will get possession of the ball. Fall for France. Pass at Ita. Shot from distance, but unfortunately not being able to make it. Shakir being stopped by Pousseau, avoiding her. Nice pass, but Erkan making a second shot of the day. And again, a, a lovely bit of basketball from Turkey. Um, again, Erkan and Kahir, they know each other so well. We've been on the team with each other for so long now. Nice pass from Bissoda and Bambolia. Bambolia inside. There's a foul called on the number seven of Turkey, Erkan. She doesn't completely agree with it, by the looks of it. However, that means two free throws for France's number five fall. First shot going off the front of the rim. The 
second one not falling either. It's Turkish rebound. No. Shakir. Kinali. Shakir. Shot from distance. Hitting the backboard. Bouncing off into the hands of Fall. No. Perhaps looking to bring the ball up with pace and get something going on this offense. France is definitely in the speed advantage here. Yeah. Oh, nice drive by France's number 11. 11. Ita, a nice score as well. Being the shortest women on court, but. Being able to get past defense there. Shakir, ball. Ali. Has no opportunity to pass away. Finds Erkan. From distance, not falling. Rebound, France. Fall. Bambola. Defense coming out on her quite quickly. Nice pass to Boussou and making the layup. Three minutes, 15 seconds remaining. Ten against four. Six point advantage for France. And as we saw earlier, a good 2 1 game between Kahir and Erkan, and then we just saw there. Another great two-man game between Bussel and Wimbula. It's the simple shots that make the most difference in this game. Would you agree, Len? Yeah, definitely. It's it's it doesn't have to be too complicated because it mostly works out in your favor if you keep it simple and keep it nice. Yeah. As long as it's not too hard, it's easy to understand what, what your teammates want. So don't make it too difficult. Charge call. For France is number five when we fall, which means it's Turkish possession. Kinali being defended by Pousseau, having a hard time to get the ball away from her. Now, long pass, difficult pass, and a shot attempt by Erkan. What can you say about this? It's uh, what we expected, I think. Yeah, Fra France. I do think France will take the win in this game, but I do think. Um, you know, Turkey has learned so much in this competition, so they, they do have the ability, ability to take it from I think. And then, as we see on, on a couple of the last uh, Turkish offences, you know, France really applying the pressure, forcing Turkey to take these, um, you know, long, low percentage shots. Oh, nice shot attempt there. Nice rebound as well from Turkish number 14. Unfortunately, not making the second throw either, but the third one goes in, which means it's six points for Turkey. Yeah, back to a four point game. I do think Turkey could take it for them if they keep this momentum up. Although France will be looking to force on ahead in the remaining 30 minutes. Although. France shouldn't underestimate Turkey because yeah. right now it looks like they well, are. <laughs> French team of course being able to show better, better skills than they are showing right now to be honest. Nice pass inside. 
unfortunately shooting just over the rim. Rebound by Bousseau for France. 30 seconds remaining in his first quarter. Bousseau, pass at Ita. Long pass, oof, intercepted by the number 14. And back by the other 14. Oh, that makes it easy. Bousseau ball, 10 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Shot by Umi Fall, which goes in. Yeah, nice shot there over the um, number seven, Arkan, who's significantly bigger than Fowl. The buzzer just announced the end of the first quarter. It's 12 against 6 in the currently France leading with 6 points. Um, yeah, France has to put a step up to uh, show what they're really worth because they're not showing that right now. Uh, in replays we can see some nice shots from Mbola. And I'm sure we'll see a stronger France, but even a stronger Turkey back on court for the second quarter. Of course, still 30 minutes remaining. More than enough to show what's possible. As long as Turkey keeps it simple, it's looking fabulously easy. But that's the point. They have to get at their positions. France already back on court for the second quarter. With 37 seconds remaining before the game starts in the second quarter. Currently Turkey have a shooting percentage of 25%. France having a 46% shooting percentage, which is obviously more. However, Turkey is shooting at the basket about as much, which means with just a few more hits, the difference won't grow that much. France's ball. It took some explanation <laughs> by the referee, but possession will be for France. France in on Bola by Clary. Clary. Bola. Nice. Passing. Oof. I thought Rambolo was around there. And Bussel unable to get the drop. Seda Canali picks up the ball. She was a strong force for Turkey earlier in the tournament. Oh, nicely done. And again, nice pass. From Arkana and Kahir just unable to get the drop. On that shot. Substitution for France. Bousseau going out and Tumel coming in. It's Clarice ball. Mbola. Turkey not coming out. That'll mean that Mbola will shoot. Unfortunately, not making it. Rebound will be for France, though. Turmel. Paris. Tombola. Nice pass to France, number 10. Lublé. There's a foul called on Turkish number 6, Kinali.
pass on Corey. Nice hands there by the Turkish. Timel from distance. Rebound France again. Larry. Pass to Mumbola. Nice shot from distance there. And it sinks in. Which means it's her fourth point there. France having 14, Turkey having six points in the second quarter with just over eight minutes left to play. Yeah, and you, you'd like to think that um, Wimbledon is only just starting heating up and she will give help extend Fran France's lead further. Yeah. Do you reckon? I think so as well. I mean, she's shown that she can be, well, top scorer of her team, but she really has to, well, do such things. Ooh, that was a sloppy pass by France. It's number yeah, four. Yeah, nice, nice steal by Turkey. Long pass, foul called on the number 12, Tumel. Which is a silly location for a foul. Timeout calls for France. I guess they don't, uh, they aren't too happy with how things are going right now. I mean, they're ahead, but that doesn't mean they're playing well. Yeah, they're only ahead by eight when, you know, in reality, you know, they've had world championships, world championship experience. They've been to many during Division A European, but it's Turkey have only just come up with Division B. So in theory, France should have a big advantage in this game. Although Turkey is making it really difficult for them, so yeah, it's yeah. Uh, the Turkey have definitely grown within this tournament. They're a different team to when they started the, in this tournament, and they, they're going to come away from this tournament a different team, I agree. a stronger team. What's fun to see is that there's more Turkish fans than there have been for the other, all the other teams, obviously apart from the Dutch combined so although they're new they've got the biggest fan base yeah maybe the they redirected the bus stop here well I heard the um, end like there's a Facebook page with all the all the like Turkish fans on them and, and yeah. They get the Ooh. local Turkish community who, who, that lives in the city to come and watch all the games. Yeah. So all the Turkish fans that are here are from... They live in and around Rotterdam. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, that's that, that's what I was told. Yeah, yeah, but... I don't know if that's true. I guess you wouldn't lie to me. An eight-second violation called there on France, which means that it's possession for Turkey. Uh, France not coming out of that time out too well. I mean there was an easy, easy layup by number seven Erkan. And now France is only leading with six. Not a pass at Erkan. Will she make it? Yes she will. It makes it only a four point difference. I mean I cannot imagine that is what they wanted. There's a foul call. No, definitely not. On the number 14 for Turkey, who... Who now, which is a second foul. They all look like they are not entirely sure what the referees are talking about. It's They're really surprised, <laughs> it looks like. Who? Me? A foul? <laughs> nice pass there. Tumel. Open layup. Will she make it? Of course she will. Yeah. Nice transition there from France. Something that they've lacked throughout this tournament. But they are showing it in this game. Good simple ball movement by France. Which has helped them gain the early lead here in this first half. Shakia pass Erkan again inside in the paint. Just too short. Having her own rebound. No, the ball was touched by France's number five, four, which means it's Turkish possession. 
Substitution on the side of France. My bad, it wasn't. For Curry going out. It's hard to see the names from back here. Number seven. Shot from distance. Will she make it? No. France the rim. Rebound. France number ten. Dubler. Nice pass and fall from Vembola. Nice drive to Mel. Does she make it? Yes, of course. And again, an another good offense by the friends. And suddenly they make it. To Mel. Suddenly they make it look very easy. Those yeah. are very nice drives and very nice opportunities they take. It's Aircon with the ball. Yeah, they seem. France seem to be getting uh, good luck, good looks into the paint. Yeah, definitely. Fall. Who's faster with ball? Oof. What will be called there? Foul number four for Turkey. Cool. Yeah, they need to be Turkey need to be careful with team fouls for the rem remaining five and a half minutes of this game. They have and five and a half minutes of this half. They've already got three so far, so yeah. On France's side, substitution is getting ready. There's another foul called. Number six, Finali, will get this one. Which is a fourth team foul already. The Wembola and Rublea are coming out on court right now. Pichon and Rublea is back. Pichon. Just called off the bench already shooting. Unfortunately not making it. Nice pass by Shakir. Well thought about it was oof. it was a wise thing to drive away but that pass wasn't that good getting touched by the French which means it's Turkish possession eight seconds remaining on the shot clock no I thought so it's French possession That'd be really silly. Ooh, nice pass on Pichon. And Pichon makes her layup. The first score, her first score of today. It's 20 against 10. And the advantage for France. Yeah, France have done really well to extend that lead back up to 10 points. Turkey really need to find something here if they want to stay in this game. Erkan, she will try to make advantage of the mismatch, and she will. Yeah, nice post up by Erkan over Ruby Fowl. Erkan has definitely grown in this one. Yeah. A lot more confidence when it comes to putting up those shots. Which she deserves as well, because when she gets some position... Pichon. Still Pichon, five seconds remaining, shot clock, she shoots, but that was just a bit over. Having some contact with her own teammate at that shot, Erkan Ball. Does she go for the shot immediately? No, not yet. Trying to pass around, finding Shakir. Rebound for Erkan. And one for Erkan. Uh, for for Kahir, sorry. And you can see the elation on her face. She's really happy with that. She gets on the free throw line for her free throw. Goal rebound by Turmel. 
a foul. Ooh. Was that a mismatch? And foul <laughs> gets the drop. Foul doing really well. She over the big players in this game. She's done that a fair few times in this game already. Back to a six point game. Nice pass on Erkan. Erkan against Pichon. Making her own layup. Rebound. By Unal and making it. Which is her fourth point today. Timeout called by France because after just having a 10 point lead, they're suddenly down to a 6 point lead. Yeah, and just like that, that's how the fights can turn in basketball. You know, it doesn't take that much time, no. Yeah, Turkey, Turkey doing a really good job of just getting the simple shots yeah. in, the, in the basket. But that's as simple as you can put it, to be honest. Yeah, that's the that's aim of the game. Throwing it in more more often than the other guys. Yeah, definitely. It can all be so simple. Thank you so much for tuning in here at the fifth and sixth place game between France and Turkey. It's France leading with six points against Turkey so far. Three minutes and nine seconds remaining in the second quarter. Uh, later today we'll also see the bronze medal game at 12.30 which will be held between Spain and Germany and at 3 o'clock we'll see the gold medal game between the Netherlands and Great Britain. We gladly see you then as well. So you can put this already on your calendar. Right now it's inbound for France. Fall on Pichon. Fall getting the ball back. <laughs> Fall. Pichon driving in. Nice pass. She stops and shoots. Hitting the back of the board. Rolling just out. Which means it's a rebound in possession for Turkey. Turkish ball. Erkan. Pass to Kinali. Back to Erkan. She'll shoot from distance, of course. And of course, she sinks it in. And she knocks it down. It's great to see a, a team develop and go, you know, despite the scoreboard, the scores of the, of the games. It's so evident that Turkey has just grown and grown in this tournament so far. It's a Mel ball, number 12 for France. Leaving wide open, now number 6 there. She shoots at the basket, but she doesn't make it even close. Number 9, Turkey, Erkan, number 7. Uh, Erkan finding any opportunities to pass the ball. Nice pass inside. Unfortunately, Kinali unable to finish it. Rebound for Pichon. Pass to Chumel. Chumel. Faking the ball. Shot from distance. Also just hitting the rim. I think France really should try to get the ball in more often. Of course, they can't, ima can't imagine that they miss on purpose, but it doesn't look that good for them right now. France only leading by four points. One minute and 12 seconds remaining in this quarter. Um, Kim Kinali doing her best to get closer to the rim, but isn't able to. Nice drive there by Umi Fall. And suddenly, there's a strong offense being played by France, which makes uh, Turkey look like they're sleeping. 35 seconds remaining in this second quarter. Kinali. Pass at Erkan. Erkan from distance. She 
It's turning a bit too much, but you'll shoot. Hitting the front rim, rebound for Turkey. Shakir, nice pass at six. Uh, sorry, Turkish number four, Gua. Unable to catch it though. Rebound France and we fall. Pichon. Tumel. Tumel making it. Nice score there. And that score will give France an eight point lead going into the second half. Not quite the lead that they would want over a team like Turkey, but still, that's a decent lead with 20 minutes left to go in the game. Wow. It's a. Uh Unexpected. I, took, I had thought that France would take an early lead on this one and a bigger one than they are having right now. Yeah. But this is a welcome uh, change and a welcome surprise, of course. Yeah. Um, I reckon we'll be back in about 30, 30 minutes. We get some coffee yeah. and get the day started. We'll be back with you with. Yeah, in about 30 minutes. Yeah, thank you for, uh, for listening and make sure you stay tuned. Het puntsysteem waar we bij rosterbasketbal bij werken, dat is een systeem die ervoor zorgt dat eigenlijk verschillende handicaps in één team kunnen plaatsvinden. En dat puntsysteem dat bepaalt aan de hand van jouw functionaliteit hoeveel punten je hebt. Want de ene handicap is de andere niet. Heb je een hele lichte handicap, dan ben je een 4,5. Heb je een zwaardere handicap, dan gaan die punten omlaag. Dus een zwaarste handicap zou bijvoorbeeld een dwarslezen zijn, zodat je veel minder rondbalans hebt. Dan ben je een 1. Zo zijn er allerlei gradaties naar beneden toe. En dat loopt dan op met halve punten van anderhalf, twee, nou, tot en met vier en half. En een vier en half, dan kan je met een sportblessure mag je al gaan rolstelbaarsen vallen. En je mag met vijf spelers mag je maar met veertien punten maximaal in het veld staan. Dus stel ik zijn twee mensen die een lichte handicap hebben en vier en een half punt zijn in het veld. Dan zit ik op negen punten. Ik moet nog drie spelers naast zetten, maken er maar vijf punten over. Dus dan moeten zware handicaps naast komen en dat vormt samen het team. We might not know everybody we see, do not know what they experience, or know how life is treating them. We all have our own unique obstacles in life, which people often know nothing about. 
At Penn, we help people to understand others and to illustrate what obstacles people may need to deal with in their lives. Why? Because it is others that show us where we can improve ourselves. It is others that teach us, help us, need us, and it is our togetherness in which we grow. Because the more we understand about others, the closer we'll get to each other. Als jij alleen moest beginnen, samen op het veld, vechtende vriendinnen. Zie die leeuw, zie die leeuw, zie die leeuw. Zie die leeuw, zie die leeuw, zie die leeuw.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this uh, fifth and sixth place game between France and Turkey. Currently, you're seeing France leading with eight points against Turkey. Uh, for France, top scores are divided between uh, the number four, Ufran, number six, Marianne Tumel. Um, and on the Turkish side, it's a strong Erkan, number seven, with 12 points, taking the lead. Uh, we got 40 seconds remaining until the second half of this game starts. Uh, with me is Daniel Cummings from Scotland and myself, Len van Dort from Holland. Um, preparing for the second half of this game. Turkey using a weak defending France to get close by and making some easy shots and layups. However, on the other side, Turkey also having a sloppy defense here and there, making it possible for many low points to drive their own layups. Eight points is not a difficult score to change around or a deficit to change around. Uh, so we'll see what Turkey has in stock to get ahead. Uh, on Turkey's side, the fans are more noticeable than on the French side, uh, which I don't know if they really help. But it sounds amazing here in Rotterdam. Uh, if you have nothing to do, you can join us here at the Top Sport Hall in Rotterdam. Uh, there are many games today being played. That was an easy layup that we saw from France, and it was exact, exactly what I meant. It's a silly defense by Turkey. Well, to be honest, Lena, complete lack of defense. Yeah, that. it wasn't a defense. Nice shot there from number six, Kinali. No, that wasn't a defense at all. It was a sloppy pass, and no one could bother to pick it up, they were shouting at each other. Bombola. Difficult pass at the number 11. Ita, not making it, rebound for Turkey. Number 7, Erkan Min, Min Erkan. To Sakia. Pass at Unal, and she makes it giving 22 points to Turkey. Bola has to get across the middle line, she does. Bosu, Uso. Nice pass inside, nice pass back. Unfortunately a three second violation call, which means it's possession for Turkey. Out of the blue, Turkey coming ahead stronger for now. Shakir. Kinali. Kinali. Long pass. No. Short pass to number 12. And she's been blocked by Ita from France. Rebound for France. Wembola. Long pass from Bussel to Wembola. Just unable to get the finish, rebound by Unal. I don't get some of these difficult passes. The, I don't know what the mindset behind them is. Yeah, I think both teams just need to simplify things to, which will benefit them, both teams. Uh, 24 second violation called as well as a technical foul for the head coach of Turkey which might have been given due to disagreeing a bit too loudly with the decisions by the referees and yeah, so it's Bousseau for the free throws. 
Bunsell three. will shoot the ball twice, and then France will get the ball once. Back. Oh, once. new rules. And then France will get the ball back from um, the sideline. When we fall, we'll inbound for France. Long pass at Uso. Toita. Pass at Uso. Being defended harshly. A hand pulled down by Turkish number nine, Sakia. The shot is, has missed, uh, which means that Busso is allowed to take two free throws from the free throw line. First one. Rolling in. Number two, free throw number two. Goes in as well. That looked beautiful from here. Yeah, great composure from Musa on the line. It's Sakia with ball. Having a difficult time to pass the ball around. It's compared to the top teams within this European Championship is, is the obvious dif difference. What was that? It looked like, wow, there's a timeout called for Turkey, that's, wow, that looked like a complete lack of effort to try to even get in front of the ball, which is, yeah, also one of the difference between the higher level teams, where you do anything to catch it, but it almost looks like sweating isn't allowed on the Turkish team. It's uh, 30 against uh, 22 for in the uh, France leading with eight points. Uh, six minutes and 53 seconds remaining in this third quarter. Let's see how Turkey comes out of this timeout. I mean, with all credit to Turkey and um, Lem, you know, they've done a good job by not letting France extend their lead beyond 10 points. Definitely, they're not, they're not playing that badly. They're really showing uh, France a hard time to get inside. Yeah. And if they get inside, they're not too afraid to make any fouls. Yeah. This was a foul called on the number 14 for Turkey, who is... Uh, once again disagreeing with the referee uh, and it's Busso again who can shoot two free throws. Although I would say Turkey do need to be careful with their with their fouls. The last, the last thing they want to do is keep sending France to the line. There's a referee walked to the head coach of Turkey warning him one more time and you can Go home. First free throw goes in. So nine points so far. Well done. Second free throw. Will she make it? Of course she will make it. Yeah, Busso has been really clinical from the line. Determined to help her team go out with a win at this tournament. Obviously, both these teams upset that they didn't qualify for, for Tokyo. France, France especially, considering they've been there before. Erkan, pass to Sakia. Shot from Erkan. Well done. And one from And Erkan. one. 
I can't be very clinical from the baseline in this game. Something which I've, um, I've seen or developed the confidence to shoot that for that shot throughout the tournament, which is always good to see. The foul has been called on the number seven, Kidon, but and she's Ooh. unable to complete the three-point play. I don't want to be rude, but number seven is not playing. Number seven for Turkey. For France. In France. Who just got the foul. There's a foul being rectified. Number uh, seven. The foul was called on number seven, but it was obviously France number five making it, uh, which is a second foul. Turkey on ball. Nice block there by Busso, but Turkey remains in possession. Isn't that a three? Second violation? No, it isn't. Another nice shot by Erkan, making this her sec 16th point already. Yeah, no, Turkey will reduce the deficit back to. Just six. six, yeah. Nice steal there by Turkey as well. Shakir with the ball, being defended by Vembolua. Erkan, she's in, mismatch. And it's a four point lead. The crowd's going wild. Yeah, Erkan is really shown in this game. But in an unbelievable personal performance. Timeout is called, being called for France. Yeah, and she's she's really playing really good this game. It's I don't want to say shocking, but it's 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 looking really good. She's yeah. She's definitely up her game. As soon as she gets inside, she's dangerous, and it's 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 in the benefit of France to make sure that she doesn't come there anymore. And I think that's what. Uh, France's coach under her cloaks will be saying to a woman today as well, or will be telling her woman today, yeah. don't let the aircon shoot again. Yeah. Wow. This is even getting more exciting than I thought when I woke up this morning. <laughs> yeah, well. Then I'm forever grateful for you getting me that coffee because now I'm starting to feel awake, <laughs> which is good. Now I feel like I'm ready. So with the ball on French side, strong defending Turkey trying to keep France away. Long pass to Chumel. Will she make it? It goes in. And, and, and as much as we talk about Arkan being a force for Turkey, Chumel has really kept France in it with those easy shots. She made some earlier in the first half, and now she's really coming into her own. And, Again, I've said this whole tournament, and I don't mean to sound repetitive, but it just completely baffles me why the French are taking off Grace Wimbula, when, in my opinion, she's the best player on that team. Why is she getting subbed off? Uh, I can't give you an answer on that, to be really honest. I, uh, I don't know. Yeah, neither do I. I don't think she... Erkan from distance. Oof. I think there was a three-point attempt. 
just hitting the rim. Jamel with ball, when we fall, nice drive there. Not being used. Play stopped as one of Turkey's low pointers falls out of the chair. And now you see the sportsmanship from France helping her up. It's uh, France with 34 against Turkey with 28, with 4 minutes and 17 seconds remaining in this third quarter. It's France with 14 seconds on the shot clock. <coughs> Jamal, pass to Boussou, Boussou fading away, not making it, that was a silly rebound by Turkish number 14 Unal, which means it's France's ball, 14 seconds, and shot clock, Kumi fall from distance, hitting the backboard but not making the score, Erkan, Free to drive, free to, free to drive, slamming into the back. Shakir, nice pass. To watch Unal, there's a foul being called. When we foul, third foul. Foul was before the shot attempt, which means it's inbound from the end line by Turkey. Ali on Erkan, Erkan. Nice pass to Shakir. Unable to make it. Rebound front. Do so. Fall. Turkey doing a good job of applying the pressure. Just this not long enough though. An another thing that they've learned throughout this moment is at the start. To be quite honest, their defense was non existent. And again, great pressure from Turkey, just not allowing Busso to get that shot. Erkan over the middle line with ball. Three minutes remaining in this quarter. France leading by six. Pass inside, it's Shakir, she shoots, and it doesn't go in either. France, Busso. Easily gets over the middle line. Pass to Jamel. Nice screen there. Four seconds on the shot clock. That's a long distance shot. Hitting the front rim, unfortunately. Nice attempt by Pousseau there. Erkan with the ball. Bunal trailing. A foul being made by France's number 10, sorry, number 7, Idon, which means that Erkan can shoot from the free throw line twice because she missed her shot. Inside of France, the substitution, and we fall comes out. Number 13, Alice Picou, comes in. It's Erkan from the free throw line. The first one, not going in, hitting the backboard, bouncing off. How about that second one? These are valuable points here. This one goes in, nicely done. It's 29 yeah, points nice for Turkey, shot. 19 for Erkan. Yeah, now it's a five point deficit. And then can you imagine what the Turkish fans will be like if Turkey pull out a win here? That'd be amazing. Imagine the scenes. We've Brian. seen how the fans go. Wow! Well done by France, number 14. So we've seen what the Turkish fans will do even if they lose. So yeah. we can't imagine what they do if they win. Yeah. And um, yeah, France not willing to let that happen. Is it, Busso just a, a veteran player of the team? Just nice shot by Erkan. Sorry, it's no, no, it's okay. <laughs> wow. And Erkan with the reply there. We're back to a four-point game. No, five-point game. Thanks to Turkish 
defense taking quite a long time for France to get over the middle line and right now they have only seven seconds to do anything with it the ball bounces out after being touched by a Turkish player which means that there's 4.3 seconds remaining on the shot clock France having to make a fast offense there to make it count ball back to Tremel she has to shoot she will hitting the rim rebound aircon for Turkey that's a drive for Shakir, pass at Unal, and she makes it as well, which means it's only three points that Turkey has to make up for. Tumel inbound, unbelievable. Of Alex Bikur. Nice pass, Boussou, oh, wide and open there. Who's defending her? No one, especially. A bit yeah. weak. It's Boussou. Not willing to let that. Um, Turkey gained the lead. We're back to a five point game. 30 seconds left to go in the third. Kinali to Erkan. Erkan. Back to Kinali. She expected to be able to pass to Shakir, but she was already inside. A large Alex Piku making it very difficult to get the pass right. It's inbound. For Turkey. Something went wrong with the shot clock. Five seconds left on the shot clock, 12 seconds left in the game. Erkan from distance. Will she make 3.10? Yes, she will. Hitting the front rim. Rebound to Mel. Six seconds. Is France able to make anything? Alex Picou. Oh, she has to do it. I don't understand what she drove. She turned to the right. Yeah. The basket was on the left side. Which means that France is ending this third quarter with a five point lead. It's 38 for France. 33 for Turkey. Uh, next to me, Dylan Cummings is dying, but we'll be back when we have solved that small problem. Nah, uh, I'm okay. Okay, okay. Luckily. We see some nice uh, replays here. Yeah, I mean, Turkey just really, you know, um, obviously France, this isn't the margin, the, the margin of the lead is not the margin that France wants. But it just shows, I mean, I've said this time and time again, and I hate to be repeating myself, but it just shows how much Turkey has grown. Because in the group game, Fra France yeah. established a really early lead. They won with 20 points back then, yeah. and now it's only five point difference. Yeah. Uh, I, and I don't see France making a 15, of getting a 15 point extra lead uh, within the next 10 minutes. As long as they play like this, yeah. it won't happen. And, and Again, I, this is another thing that I've said before, but like, what I just don't understand why Grace Wimbula is on the bench. It it just it doesn't make any sense. How's your friends, Dylan? Pardon? How's your French, Dylan? <laughs> you can I, I haven't done French in a long time, so it's not that great. So you won't be able to tell Sandra Claude. No, but the only per well, Grace speaks perfect English, so I can tell Grace, but no. You can shout it, she's, she's near you. Yeah, last time I studied French was about what? Would have been five <laughs> years ago now. Five years already? Yeah. Time flies when you're having fun. Though. It does. I'm going back to college in September to learn German. Why would you do that? Because I, I, am, I work for a German magazine, so... Of course, of course. Yeah, it'd be, uh, be handy to learn German. Yeah, of course. It's a... Uh, France is uh, France that's able to make the out of bounds. It's the ball for Gidon. She passes to Tremel, who's free for a sh shot, but she passes away to Poussel, who makes a difficult shot. Ball being touched by France number 13, Alex Picou, which means it's 
Turkish ball. Finale and Shakir bringing up the ball. Finale. Finale to Ak. No, not to Akon. She has to do something. Finale. Pass inside to Unu. Unfortunately, not being able to make it. There's a foul being called by the number 14. Busso, which is a second personal foul. Uh, and that means that Turkey is allowed to make two free throws. Bang for the first free throw. Yeah, Una will go to the line. I do think for the three point classification, Cher is too high for her. And she misses the first. You know, with chair high levels, it's all about stability. And to be honest, she doesn't look very stable in that chair. It's yeah, maybe the reason and she, she fell over so much. We're back to a four-point game. It's well done. It's France with the ball. Turkey putting a lot of pressure on France. Rousseau over the middle line. Driving backwards with the ball. Long pass on Alex Picou. Pass on Chumel. Chumel shoots. It doesn't fall. Foul wow. being made by the number seven, Erkan. Not the most ideal foul, well, not the most ideal person that Turkey will want to go to the line, you know. Termelo has been fairly consistent with their free throws in this game. I agree. And now you'll hear the Turkish fans trying to do anything to put it off. To extend Turkey's lead to five. First free throw goes in. And the second free throw goes in as well. Yeah, great composure by Termel. Yeah, like you line. said, it's not the best the best one to have on the line there. It's Turkey in offense. Kinali from distance. Making shot. Yeah, nice shot. These are valuable Hayden points. Kinali. Well done. This is our fourth uh, fourth point today. Turkey doing really well to reply to France. As at the start of the tournament, oh, and Termel again just misses the layup. Um, Turkey doing really well to reply to these threats from France. And um, I'm not entirely sure, Dylan. Perhaps you know it. Pardon? Is it allowed to uh, get uh, stop the play to get the other player up again right now. Yeah. I thought it was uh, there was a change in the rules recently regarding it. I'm not entirely sure. I, I, I think you have to ask the referees. Yeah, I, I'm, co I'm confused as to why the play was stopped when it was in the other half of the court. Obviously, I'd understand it more if the ball was in the half of the court where she had fallen. Yeah. It was quite crowded when she was laying there, but but I can imagine that as a Turkish player you'd like to be offensive with five players instead of just four. Uh, the shot doesn't fall, but the nice rebound, rebound by Turkey. Oh, excellent pass as well, and a shot with a foul. Yeah, I can hear great awareness there for that foul. It's uh, number nine, Shakir going to the line for Turkey. The Turkish fa fans asking for silence. Shh. 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 Silence. The first one goes in. The silence works, Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> the How about one. the second one? Next one. A 
the second one We're goes in as well. Point game this is absolutely phenomenal from Turkey. Unbelievable. Once again, showing that peace of mind really works. <laughs> nice pass at Boussou. Ball going and in. And one for Boussou right when France need it. The foul's been called on the number 14, Unal. Which is a third personal, a fourth personal foul. Um, not worth nine points so far. Back on court for France. We see Umi foul. We see Ita. And Dylan's favorite, Chris Mbula is back. Mbolia is back. Free throw doesn't go in. Rebound by Erkan. Turkey trailing by four points. Erkan. Pass to Kinali. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Nice pass. Ooh. Blocked that? by foul. Good, good defense there by foul. Bolia passes at Boussou, hard pass there. Difficult fall. Bolia, five seconds on the shot clock. Four. We'll have to launch it. Yeah. She has to. Although I understand why you're a fan of her, I don't understand why she would dribble at that specific moment. That's a waste of time. I don't know. Some, like me personally, no matter what. Where I, if I have the ball at the end of a play, I, I'll shoot the ball. I'll always shoot it, you know, rather than just hold on to it. Because you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wow. But I, I've noticed a lot of players in this moment, if they're, if they're not within their range, they'll just wait for the, the shot clock to expire, which I personally don't, don't think is the right move. But that's just me. Nice shot there from foul. Giving France four-point lead. It's Erkan with ball in this exciting six and a half minutes remaining yeah. on the fourth quarter. It's a okay. shot from Erkan. Oh, up and knocks it down. Oh my god, we're back to a two-point game. If Turkey win this, it'll be absolutely phenomenal. Does it have consequences for France if they lose right now? Um, I don't know actually, they could go down to Division B. I've got no idea. We should look that up later, but we'll come back with it. Lembola. Well, that's a long distance shot. Yeah, she's just fouled. as a foul is being called, which is a smart move. Just like we said, it's always better to shoot. Yeah. Yeah, because then, as you saw, that, yeah, although it didn't go in, she drew the foul. Whereas, you know, before, if she could have shot before, she would have also drawn the foul. You just never know with these things. No, I agree. Uh, the foul's been called on the number six for Turkey, Kinali, which is a third personal foul. Umbola. First one goes in. These unnecessary points here for France. How about the second one? That one goes in as well, yeah. bringing France back to a four-point lead. Phenomenal composure from Wembula at the line. Sakir with the ball, long pass at Erkan. Fall already defending her, six seconds remaining. That's a strange shot, but it hits the rim. And the rebounds will fall. That's a foul called on the number nine 
Shakia. Before the shot, or a shot attempt, which means that the ball will be inbounded from the end line by Mbolia. Pass at fall, pass back. Mbolia shot from distance, she can do these. And she knocks it down. You can see the disappointment on the faces of the Turkish players. Yeah. Well, do not see my point now, Len, is that as to why she needed to be subbed in earlier. I, I agree completely with you, but I'm not French, so I wouldn't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a shot by uh, Turkey number six, Kinali. Uh, I reckon... Oh, it's, it's given to France, but I reckon there were some French hands with that shot. But who am I to complain? It's a false ball, France. Pass at Bousseau. difficult pass, but it goes in. This is not a good moment for Turkey. Timeout being called by the Turkish head coach. It's uh, four minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Um, Turkey trailing with eight points. Yeah, you have to imagine with four and a half minutes to go, it is going to be quite difficult to come back from. The, the lead France established in the first quarter will work in their favour now. With the amount of points that they have made during the, this game, it's, it's highly unlikely that Turkey can come closer. However, yeah. they've just shown that they, uh, they they closed the six point gap within about 30 seconds so and I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure on this but I am pretty sure that the loser of this game will go back to division B um, next year and to compete again Sweden and Italy and perhaps another team I'm not sure of I'm not entirely sure either, so we'll uh, come back with you <laughs> with more information later. Yeah. What's good to see is that Turkey is actually shooting more than France is. It's just a percentage that is not working out in their favor. Uh, Erkan and Null being the most important and uh, shooters over there. What we've seen also is that the Turkish women are probably knackered because there haven't been any substitutions on their side yet. While France has a lot more uh, players on court, had, had a lot more players on court. There was a Strange um, pass. Bad pass there from Turkey. Was it a bad, bad pass or was it a bad catch? Because I, I think the second one there. Uh, just on court as we spoke about it, Turkish number 13. And the, the way Turkey has developed their defense over this tournament is, is just phenomenal. But it does not stop players like Busso from getting into the key, but compared to the, to the tournament start, their defense has just gone yeah. up and up and up. I agree, yeah. It's all, the, all the teams still needed more work, but when you compare to how they started out... Another shot by Aircon. Yeah. She does it beautifully. Back to an 8-1 game. Mbolga with the ball across the half line. It's Busso down, which is why the play has been stopped. Erkan helping her back on her wheels. Six seconds on the shot clock. She has to do something. Stop dribbling. Come on. Shot. Hitting the back of the rim. 
Rebound. A rebound attempt, at least, by Unal, who is not looking that happy with it. Uh, the ball bounces out of her hands and is for France. Pass to Bousseau, who has a hard time to get away from Sakia. There's a shot attempt made. But it doesn't go in, which means turkey ball. Eight points in two minutes and 40-ish seconds. Is it doable? Not like this. Well, if it's, if it's doable, then Turkey need to score quickly on this offense, like they were doing earlier in the game. Foul being called on Turkish number 13. Umi foul will go to the line. Yeah. She's been a key player for France in this game, very fast. Akurek is number 13 for Turkey. Uh, the first free throw doesn't go in. Uh, two minutes and 29 seconds remaining. And the second one goes in, which gives France 53 points, a nine point lead. Sakia, Erkan, no, Shakia with her own shot and she makes it. Umifal can't believe it, what's happened with the defense? Come on girls, she says, probably in French. Nice steal there, nice interception by Erkan, foul being made by Umifal, yeah, which is a fourth personal foul. Yeah, she needs to be careful within these last two minutes. Pass on Aircon. What a sloppy pass, but she catches it in the end. Four seconds. There's a lot. She launched it. Now. Seven points. Turkish fans getting way louder. Inbound Umifal. France. Fall. Pass to it's a quick shot, but it's not good. That's a sloppy pass to Erkan. Erkan being not too happy with it, but not defending that well either. Umbola from distance. Doesn't fall in rebound. It's for Unal. Pass on Shakia. She goes in. Hitting the backboard hard. These are not great fouls right now. Uh, not great mistakes to make, sorry, my bad. There's a foul being called on Turkish. Number six, Kinali. Which is a third foul. Personal foul. We fall hitting the ground hard as she's in tears a bit. Allowed to make two free throws. There's a timeout called by Turkey. Yeah, and I, th I do think it's, it's. Turkey can't come back from this. 
seven points. One minute and six, uh, sorry, two seconds. Is it possible? I personally don't think so. But it is but way more exciting than France would have liked. Yeah, yeah, it has been an exciting game. At one point, Turkey within two points. And you know, um, players like Brussel and Caramel and Wendola has been a key deciding factor in um, extending France's lead. Although Turkey has done a really good job by not, I don't think so. France has ever led by more than 10 in this game. No. Of course, not underestimating the likes of Erkan and Unal for Turkey. Oh, yeah, yeah. 25 yeah, yeah. points. Which is. Uh, Erkan has been absolutely phenomenal for yeah. Turkey in this game. And especially consistent from the baseline. I agree completely. It's also Bousseau who hasn't. I haven't noticed her this much during any games during this tournament, but she's playing very well today. She's the one keeping France ahead. It's a fall on the line with two free throws. How about this first one? Will it go in? Yes, of course it will. Extends Turkey's lead to eight. Second free throw. How about that one? That one goes in as well. And now to nine. It's Shakir with the ball. Akon from this, no. 10 seconds. Oof. That's rough. The charge is being. Offensive fouls being called on number 9, Shakir, which is a fourth personal foul. Fall with the ball. A foul being made. It's what goes around comes around because she falls to the ground immediately. There are two shots for Umi Fall. It's France leading with nine points thus far, perhaps, being able to extend it to 11 points, which would be the first time in this game. The first one doesn't go in, which means it's Umi Fall's second free throw. And that one, it takes some time, but it goes in as well. Yeah, foul extends the lead to 10 points, 43 seconds left to go in this game. Shakir. Turkey perhaps looking to muster up one final offense. Uh, Arkan for three. Doesn't go. Rebound by Busso. Fall with the ball. Finding Bambolia. Nice pick there. Nice pass. It's difficult to finish it there from back there, but. That shows. It's Turkey with the ball. Nice passing around. And a layup there. With a foul being called. On the buzzer. Well, I think on number five. There's zero seconds left in this game, so I presume that once these free throws are done. Which means that at the buzzer, just before the buzzer, actually, it's. Um, Umi Fall who's being fouled out with five personal fouls. Right now, on court. It's Turkey. Number... I can't see from here. Eleven? Number four. Number four. Gur. Gur with two free throws. 
Our first one doesn't go. The second one might lower the deficit to nine. With 0 0.07 seconds remaining. Or 0 0.7 seconds remaining. It's Francis Clary inbounding. And it's France who wins with 56 against 46 yep. against Turkey. An unexpected game, unexpected tough defense yep. by Turkey. And a really strong performance by uh, Erkan and Unal from that team. Yeah, definitely. Erkan with 25 points. He's really up to game in this tournament. And the likes of Wembula, Turmel. And Bussel have allowed France to have that 10 point lead. Obviously, 10 points is the biggest margin that they wanted the lead to have, of, of a lead that they wanted to have. But still saying that both teams have shown great fight, and Turkey, especially, you can see how much they've grown in this tournament. They've done really well. I'm really, really yeah. proud. I'm impressed by them. So now, let's just hope the Turkish fans don't set off any smoke them, smoke things again. It's uh, it's just waiting for now. Uh, it's Turkey finishing sixth at the European Championship for women in Rotterdam. It's France ending on the fifth place. The Turkish fans being very happy with the performance that Turkey has been showing right now. The Sunrise Medical Player of the Game is being announced. It is Marianne Bousseau from France, number 14, with 20 points. Which means that we end this game with a strong playing Turkey, who can be proud of what they've shown thus far during this tournament. They've grown a lot, like Dylan has already been saying. Um, yeah, what can we, what more can we say? Um, right now, we're waiting for about three quarters of an hour yeah, until, the next game until the next game. It's bronze medal game between Spain and Germany. Uh, you can tune in here on uh, YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or whatever you're doing and listen to our terrible English accents. Uh, Otherwise, you can also come to Rotterdam if you have time. Uh, there are more than enough seats available. Um, I was uh, joined by Dylan Cummings and myself, Len van Dort, and we'll see each other in about 45 minutes. Anything to add? Um, no, it's been, a, it's been a great game, and I'm looking forward to the next, next one. Um, and if you're watching this and you're in Rotterdam, I suggest you get yourself to the top sports center as soon as possible because come the final I doubt there'll be any seats left so I completely and, agree um, and um, yeah thank you for tuning in yeah and we'll be back with you in about three quarter of, quarters of an hour for the next game I think I'm gonna go and get myself another coffee <laughs> and uh, um, I'll see you soon okay uh, thank you very much one Cheers. small short announcement from my side as well uh, at three o'clock the gold medal game uh, between uh, the Netherlands and uh, Great Britain. If you are uh, Dutch or Great British, you can watch uh, the game at 3 o'clock at Ziggo TV in Halle, uh, Channel 14. Uh, on Great Britain, you can see it uh, on the BBC Sports website. Um, or you can listen to us, which is, uh, of course, uh, yeah. Prefer and uh, if you listen to us, um, well, um, so yeah, as we say, the the Spain Germany game will, will uh, be in English on the YouTube stream, and then there'll be three options to watch the final. If you're Dutch, you can watch on Single TV, which obviously is only available in the Netherlands. If you're British, you can watch on BBC Sport, which is only available in the UK, and then if you watch on here stream will be available worldwide so choose whatever you want but if you're outside of the the Netherlands and the UK the only place to watch the final is on YouTube. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, and now we're really off. See you later. Bye bye. Bye.